Welcome to today's vlog. This is the second in our series. Last week we talked about annoying things DMs do, uh, basically our don't be a dick video. Today we're going to talk about some problems with players. Specifically, one type of player who's probably the most annoying player that will sit at your table or play in your group, the rules lawyer. So today's video is, don't be a rules lawyer. You may ask, what's a rules lawyer? If you've played long enough, you run into them. If you're experienced, you know exactly what they are. They're the player that creates problems at the table. He makes things take longer than they need to. He argues the minutia of every single rule, every tiniest bit in the book. He thinks everything's subject to interpretation as long as that interpretation is his. Uh, he's the player that makes things take two to three times longer than they should. I don't know how many times I've seen players sit there and argue over feats or skills or abilities of another player at the table that they really have no business arguing over if the DM doesn't have a problem with what's going on. From a prime example, someone arguing when you're doing a charge as a thief and you don't move closer every single round and he says, you can't do that. Well, he didn't build that thief, did he? He doesn't know that roundabout charge allows you to not have to move every single move forward and closer to your target. It allows you to basically run a circle around somebody. But he's going to argue with you and keep saying you can't do that until you show him the sheet, you show him the rule book, when he had no business starting this argument in the first place. If the DM had a problem with it, which the DM, I guarantee you, knows the real rule, then you shouldn't have a problem with it either, Mr. Rules Lawyer. My advice in most situations to the rules lawyer is shut up. Nobody cares about your opinion. Nobody cares that you've sat there and memorized the books, that you've read every book there is, that you think you know every single rule there is. The fact of the matter is, you're an annoyance at the table. DMs, if you have a rules lawyer at the table, I have three things, three pieces of advice for you. One, crit every time on them. Kill him. Make sure he gets the clue that you don't appreciate being interrupted. You don't appreciate every turn taking two to three times longer because he will argue rules. Granted, he'll argue them to his advantage. Every other player at the table, he's going to screw him if he can because he is a socially inept asshole and he's playing your game. Don't let him do it. Roll a d4. Tell him one through four is a crit. Kill him. Give him the idea that either he needs to straighten up and become more socially adept or he has, might as well leave your group because he's not going to survive any encounters from this point forward. Two, if he sits there and starts pulling out a book, because this is something they love to do, pull out a book and argue the rules and read it out loud. Waste five minutes looking for that one page and that one sentence and that one paragraph. Say, let me see the book. The minute he hands it to you, throw it in the corner and tell him, I don't care. It's my table. Shut up. Three, just don't let him play anymore. Take him aside and say, look, if you can't stop interrupting me, you can't stop being rude to players at the table telling them what they can and can't do, you're not welcome back next week. And until you change how you're going to play at the table, you're not welcome back again. We'll find somebody to replace you. It'll be quite easy. Let them know that this asshole behavior is just not acceptable at your table. Players, if you have somebody like this and they're getting on your nerves, they're arguing about your character, your skills, what you can and can't do, all this kind of bullshit that shouldn't be happening at the table, if you're a healer, don't heal him. If you're a tank, don't tank for him. Let him die. Make sure the, uh, you know, stand back and let him die. It doesn't matter. Magic users, push the enemy toward him, not away. Make sure he gets the clue that no one at the table appreciates his absolutely socially retarded behavior. He's an ass. Let him know it. If the DM has said something to him and he doesn't get it through his head, make sure his character ceases to exist. Don't help him. Honestly, don't punish the DM and quit the game. Talk to the DM and just tell him, unless this guy leaves, you guys aren't playing anymore. I guarantee you the DM's going to tell the guy to take a hike, send him down the road, and you don't have to worry about it again. Rules lawyers, if you're watching this, and I'm sure you're uptight by now because you're uptight assholes by your very nature, don't do this stuff at the table. You should never be telling another player what they should, can, or can't do. You should never have these words come out of your mouth. You can't do that. 
It's not your place. You're not the DM. He didn't ask your opinion. If he asks your opinion on a ruling because he knows that you've wasted most of your life reading the books and you have no social interaction outside of games, then you can respond. Do it politely. Do it nicely. Don't be a dick to the other players. Never, ever tell a player what they can and can't do. That's the DM's job. It's not yours. And if you're taking it as your job, you're just an asshole and you shouldn't be playing the game. Go find board games where the rules are sacrosanct and they have to be read and used. Don't play role-playing games because rules are subject to interpretation, not just yours. The DMs, the other players, and if they agree on it and you're not happy, tough shit. Learn to be a better person when you're playing games. What I've found is most rules lawyers are the biggest assholes of the group. They're the ones that don't care if they're making everybody miserable at the table. They don't care if they're making gameplay take longer. It's all about them. It's all about showing that they think they know everything. And let's face it, nobody gives a shit if you think you know everything. We're here to have fun. The DM's there to guide the story. He doesn't need your help unless he asks for it. If you're a rules lawyer, stop. You're an ass. Don't pull this crap. Let the players have fun. Find something else to do. Play a board game. Play something else. Go play a video game where the rules really don't matter. The rules are dependent on what happens in game. You can't argue with it. Don't ruin other people's fun. If that's your idea of, of, of having fun or getting off, you need to find a life. DMs, don't put up with their crap. Make them change or kick them out. Don't let these people ruin your group because they will ruin your group. You're going to have a lot of people who are not sitting there smiling and being happy because you have an ass at the table. That's about it for now. Um, as you can tell, it's a subject I take personally. I don't like rules lawyers. I think they ruin the game for everybody. They have a place if they know that place. If they're knowledgeable and someone asks them, that's fine. Then they should go ahead and show that they know the rules. They better damn sight well know the rules, though, before they open their mouth and screw it up for people at the table. Because if somebody comes along that really knows the rules, they'll say, you've been doing it wrong. And they'll probably do it more politely than the rules lawyer does with his social ineptitude and retarded nature. Just stop. Um, that's it for this video. Uh, we're going to be doing some other videos coming up. Uh, I probably want to do something on alignments because I see so many DMs and players just misplaying alignments or misunderstanding what al different alignments truly are. Um, RPG Nate has some stuff he wants to do. And I have a few other uh, Don't Be a video coming up because there are quite a few types of things that are just really annoying to everyone at the table. And it's usually one person ruining the game for everybody else. Anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to rate, subscribe, and comment below, unless you're a rules lawyer, because I don't care what you have to say. Thanks again. See you next time.